Last week's terrorist attack in on two places in Tehran. We know that 12 people have been killed, over 40 people have been wounded. And of course, the first thing that has to come to mind is a condemnation of any terrorism anywhere. And also a thought to all those innocent people who've been killed by yeah. Daesh, which has taken responsibility for the yeah, act. And you see the scenes of the terrorists entering the administrative part of the uh, Islamic Majlis um, in Tehran, randomly and indiscriminately shooting at people who were, you know, general public sitting in a waiting area, and shooting people behind, you know, from, from behind. It just is. These are innocent people who have nothing. They have done nothing to deserve this, and that's the essence of terrorism. It targets uh, civilians and must be condemned without any if or but. There's a lot of other issues that needs to be unpicked, mm. but the first thing we've got to do, without any excuses, they need to be condemned. And we, people have the right to live without fear of being targeted. It doesn't matter whether it's in London, in Tehran, in Syria, in Iraq, in Africa. And in, what we're yeah, seeing everywhere. is that people are taking sides in, in a way, and I think that hum human aspect of it is being lost. So there are people who are siding with the Saudi regime, there are people who are siding with the Iranian regime uh, because of the political games they're playing. I think what, what is clear is that both of them are two poles of uh, international terrorism in the world today. You know, and that's at one side of the issue. I don't think we should be taking sides with either pole of terrorism or also US-led terrorism, yeah, which is another aspect of it. We should yeah. be siding with people and saying that terrorism is, you know, not justifiable in any way, shape or form. And we know that the Islamic regime of Iran uh, has been funding, uh, is the biggest funder of terrorist, terrorism across the world. So is Saudi Arabia and Qatar. Now they had they have infight, this infighting between Qatar and, and Saudi Arabia. All of them are funders of terrorism. That's the only way that they can advance their interest by unleashing indiscriminate terror on the civilians. And uh, what the world has to say, this needs to stop. They have no, people have the right to live free of daily attack by these are states, effectively, these are arms of the states operating in the, you know, in different parts of the world. And when people try to justify this or excuse this, that's at the higher echelon of government. At the I mean, higher echelon of government, we'll see that the representative uh, of the United States, who uh, is, um, you know, in, in the uh, session in the Congress, uh, is talking about, is that better for people to uh, kill each other? For the U.S. to let ISIS kill as as the Islamic, uh, you know, people in Iran and vice versa because they're enemies of the United States, which is really a despicable have, way of looking at it. Uh, and in a sense, it's, it rings uh, the same as uh, Socialist Workers' Party, for example, saying, well, you know, after 9-11 in the U.S., it's chickens coming home to roost. So this constant justification and legitimization of acts of terror, depending on where you stand. And I think one of the things that the terrorists do is that they dehumanize those they attack, which is why they're able to kill people indiscriminately without any feeling of remorse. If those who are supposedly opposed to terrorism have that same view depending on who's killed well it's really that same sort of really method and approach yeah. uh, approach yeah. dehumanized yeah. view of the enemy of the other yes so we want to really condemn uh, terrorist activity in tehran we know that the islamic regime of iran is going to uh, use this as an opportunity to uh, strengthen its hand. Um, they already started to talk about, no, oh, there were Kurds among those uh, um, supporters of Daesh and start to sort of uh, undertake military activity mm. in the Kurdish region and uh, use it yeah. against the opposition. And that's what they do. They always use this opportunity to strengthen the most right-wing element of each government. And we've seen that in, in Syria, we've seen that in Iraq, and we'll see it anywhere that the terrorism sort of interferes and the method of terrorist activity and which atta attacks these civilians. Um. Yeah, and finally, the, the issue is that, look, people are saying pray for Tehran. I don't think we should pray for Tehran. I mean, the reality is that 
religion and the religious right is why we're in the situation we are today. We should have human solidarity across borders for people, no matter where these attacks take place, and stand up to the terrorists, which are not just Daesh, but they're also in the Islamic regime of Iran. They're also in the Saudi government. These are states that work together and have made uh, even though they might be rivals at some points, they've made life hell for people across the globe. So we need to stand with people against terrorism. And the U.S. is not free yes. from this. Its militarism has created, as we were talking yeah, earlier, yeah. a space it, for this, it hasn't it? It is not it? an excuse, but we need to recognize that uh, United States foreign policy mm -hmm. has been based on unleashing terror as a means of advancing its uh, um, interests in Middle East and North, uh, North Africa, particularly in the Middle East. And they have to take responsibility for this. It's not a justification for terror, but it's a, 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 some sort of explanation. And we need to consider that, you know, United States has been party to creating an environment for the right wing to Thrive and, it, and it still supports a lot of Islamist groups uh, in, in its uh, promotion of its foreign policy. Islamism came to center stage because of its foreign policy uh, demands during the Cold War. So, you know, to say that terrorists kill innocent people because they're upset about U.S. foreign policy is not acceptable. Uh, because as we, we, we know, terrorists kill people all over the world and more so in the Middle East and North Africa. But to say that the U.S. has had a role in the situation and is also responsible for the situation is is, is a fact, really, and yeah. something that we need to Too recognize. Much. Yeah. So solidarity with people everywhere and, and standing up to all forms of terrorism, uh, no matter what. And I think the best way to do that is to stop dehumanization of those who are considered the enemy, the other, you know, and to, to see... Um, our links, our lives linked with each other against this bleak uh, mark on our on our world today. Mm -hmm.